tequila for a bottle. Three what bottles. What do I know? So what did you think of Steve's tour and all of the things that we just learned about wine? I have to say, I love it here. It is so big and it's so quiet out here. 4,000 vines, 4,000. He said it's six acres, but it feels so it feels, wide open here. Like there's yeah. just so much open space that yep. maybe all the wineries together, it's way more than that. But he's a great guy, and I'm glad to support his business. Yeah, and every time we stay at one of these harvest hosts, we learn even more about wine. And, and I mean, you know, we and get he a didn't lesson. judge us. We he get didn't. a lesson every yeah, time. Yeah, he taught us. Since we're not uh, experienced <laughs> wine drinkers. And how many more wines did we find that we enjoyed? You know, we got another three yeah. here. That uh, well, we definitely. Uh, are going to enjoy one bottle tonight. Yeah, and what's the name of that one? And this is the clothing, clothing optional. optional. Mm -hmm. And then the Pinot Grigio will be for another time or... You can't say tomorrow night because I know, tomorrow there'll be more night, wine. It's going to be someone Well, I, I hesitated because I thought it might be a gift, but um, I don't we thought so. that last time too, and then we drank it all. With hitting three wineries in a row, we are definitely going to take, you know, probably five or six bottles home with us. I don't think that's a bad thing. No, that's good. We need, we ran out of, you know, wine after our visit to Perump, so... More wine. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to enjoying the back patio in a little bit here since we're the only ones here and we'll have it all to ourselves. We will. It's going to be nice. It's a beautiful sunset in the desert tonight and he's over there getting that shot with the barn and the vineyard. It's so peaceful here. Dogs are snoozing. The hot logic is doing its magic right there. Get some spaghetti in there heating up. Life is good. Okay, first night was very peaceful. Saturday morning, chilly, but coffee's on. We woke up this morning at the little old wine drinker's winery in Kingman, Arizona. It's a pretty cool place to wake up. Well, we are leaving little old wine drinkers winery. Had a great stay. Now we're headed back into Kingman and we are going to stay at the Double D Distillery this evening. Big shout out to Steve and his wife. They took great care of us, wonderful people, and we look forward to seeing them again.